That's a good question. <laughs> like, usually when people ask us that, we end up telling like a lot or something like that. Sadly. And we'll tell something funny like, just to be honest with you, I may have said, hey, we met at the strip club and <laughs> I saw this fine girl. No, but people that really know me, they know, okay, yeah. this guy don't go to no He's strip lying. club. So I may have said something like that just to kind of break the ice, just to make people feel like, oh, well, it's funny. They obviously don't want to talk about it. But... um. <laughs> But honestly, we met on uh, plenty of fish, and I'm proud to say it, you know, and I think... Now we're proud to say now, it. <laughs> now we're proud to say it. We'll be honest with you. Um, but, you know, you can't be ashamed what God the, what God has done for you, you know. And, and, and throughout true. that process, I think the enemy wants us to be ashamed of it, so we won't tell that next person, like, you're, you're special somebody could be on online, or you're special person could be somewhere where you least expect it. Yeah, definitely. You know, and I think that... You know, we're an instrument of going to a place where we didn't think it was absolutely was not going to happen. There was no way that God was going to bring me the guy that I've been praying for via plenty of fish. Online dating, really? I told myself I would never do online dating. <laughs> never say never. You know, Clearly, we are a result to that. But um, but it was an easy process. I mean, I. I've had to have messaged <laughs> about a few times. Well, to be honest with you, a lot of times. You know, excuse my improper English, but it was a lot. A whole lot. That's you know, true. and um, she rejected me quite a few times. You know. I didn't necessarily reject you. I just rejected. ignored your messages. Rejection. Because by the time you had messaged me, there were like five million other crazy idiots that were saying crazy stuff and I was like, this is why I don't do online dating. There's no point. They're crazy. So. Well, I wasn't crazy. But I definitely was crazy for you in that process. Oh, and still yes. are. And still are. Wait. You know, and still are. You know, <laughs> but, um, I'm just glad that she was obedient to Christ and she allowed, um, you know, allowed that process to happen. Yeah. You know, she finally said, uh, finally said yes to <laughs> answering my first call. You know? <laughs> so yeah, that's how we met. I'll tell you why. <laughs> well, to be, honest with, to be honest with you, uh, it kind of came to me during a, uh, or in Fusion, I believe. Right? Uh -huh. Over at uh, Victory? Yeah, definitely. Um, I believe um, the sermon was talking about baptism. And basically, when you, it's a symbol, it's basically symbolizing that you're going underwater and you're washing all that, washing away that sin. You're washing your old self away. Right. And I just thought about that. I was like, when we become married, I'm no longer Demetrius. She's no longer La Sarah. We're, we're joined together. We're the bells. That way, yeah, definitely the bells. Um, <laughs> But um, but I felt that if we baptize ourselves, we go in single, we go in detached, and then when we come up, we're it symbolizes that we're together. Yeah. You know, it symbolizes that we're joined together. That everything that we've done in the past, every whatever, it doesn't matter anymore. Yeah, we've washed. We've 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 done. You know, we're together now. Everything yes. from our single lives. Everything that you know may have hindered us or things that we've been praying to get rid of we're leaving that in the tub we're leaving that in the water right? yeah definitely yeah. you know starting starting over new and i think that's just new really what it yeah, def new definitely relationship rising marriage. up together you know look at that so yeah that's why yeah. we want to get baptized together and we feel yeah. that god called us to do this mm. exactly Our marriage will glorify God because we definitely want to be able to help other couples who are either unfamiliar with courtship or they're in courtship and don't really know how to navigate it um, and to let people know that purity is possible like you can truly be pure not have sex before marriage while you're in a relationship or a courtship and be successful um, and we just want to let people know that that's possible that's Definitely. what we want to do Definitely. And, and, and don't let this image of what it may seem like we got it all together <laughs> Because this was three years in the making. Yeah, definitely. Um, under the uh, leadership of Jamel and Michelle, definitely got to shout them out. We are definitely a product of that. Um, because it, it was hard. Yeah, definitely. Very hard in every way, form, or fashion. I mean, it was something that was, I can't stress it enough. Well, it was challenging. It was challenging. 
definitely challenging, but it was needed for us yeah. to grow. And, um, it was worth it. Definitely, it definitely worth, it. I, worth I, it. I I look back on the time that we've been together. I wouldn't take it back, honestly. And that's just being real because it made me into who we, you know, to who we are. Yeah. You know, so we definitely want to have a ministry to where we speak to the couples. Yeah. You know. So yeah, that's how you know we feel that our marriage will glorify God through helping other couples and just being available, like our accountability couple and our godly community was for us. <laughs> well, um, besides the obvious, she is very pretty, you know, but you. looks aren't everything, you know. So it was it was really the thing that I was most attracted to was the fact that she was on fire for Christ, you know, that she embodied what she loved with the following God, you know, and um and the fact that she's everything that I need to be in the future. You know, God saw something in me and knew that I needed a person like Vlasera to get me to that next level. Amen. You know, and it's honestly, to be real, I never, I didn't honestly pray for that or even knew to pray for that. But God already has a plan. He knew me before I met her and knew that, okay, I'm going to develop a, a real woman for you that's going to push you in the right direction. And I guess just long story short, man, she's, she's everything that I need and just only a little of what I want. And I say that only because if I if God gave me everything that I wanted, there'd be no need to pray. There'd be no need to ask for more. There'd be no need to create a testimony. You know, in the process of growing and going through those growing pains, you gotta you gotta have something to stay on your knees about. You know, we're not perfect and, and if she gave me everything I wanted, she would be perfect and that's just not what we are, you right. know. That's good, babe. I definitely feel like God answered my prayers because I prayed for a man who would, number one, love God with all his heart. Um, and also, he had to be attractive. And I know people say, oh, that's not important. You're being shallow. But listen. I needed this man to be fine, and God outdid himself because he is fine. <laughs> um, but yes, um, I think what I didn't know was that everything that I prayed for, I prayed for someone who would be a true leader, who would lead me after following Christ, who would help me grow, who would grow with me. I didn't truly understand what all of that came with, the testimony that would come out of that, because it's not always easy having people point out your flaws and helping you to grow out of them. But I'm so blessed because I can honestly say that I'm a better woman because of Demetrius pushing me to be the everything that God has created me to be. So I'm grateful. I'm blessed. The best advice that I would give any couple who who's courting court currently or who's thinking and considering courtship, I would definitely say the number one thing would be to get an accountability couple. Um, like we've said previously, that our accountability couple has been very instrumental in our success and we're just so grateful that God bought them into our lives. So accountability is definitely key. Um, do you have anything else you want to add? Um, I guess really the only advice I can give is um, just be comfortable being uncomfortable. And be excited about the challenges that there are to come in a relationship. It makes it easier in that transition to accept it for what it is and what God is doing. You love, you love that. I love that you love that. <laughs> Um, and then the last thing I would say would be um, definitely set realistic boundaries. Know your triggers. Um, because like we said before, purity is definitely important. It's definitely something that God honors. Um, but in order to be successful, you have to be smart. And being smart means setting boundaries and not crossing those boundaries. And not just not crossing them, but not even getting close to the line so that you would have the potential to cross them. You know, the Bible says flee from temptation. Um, so that means run in the opposite direction. And those boundaries will help you do that. So. Yes. And have realistic boundaries. Yes. You know, 
based on your personality. Not everybody is the same. You know, you have to do it that, that best fits you in this Definitely. relationship. But the end result is to frame from sexual contact, you yeah. know, with impurity and and just come in just come in knowing that, you know, with one another. Yeah, so that's the advice we would give and we just wish any couple that's in courtship or thinking about courtship the best of luck. It's not easy, but it's definitely doable. So Father God, we just thank you for this time, God. We thank you, God, that you ordained this moment from the very beginning, God. You knew that we would be here, and we're just so grateful, God. We thank you that you are here, that your presence is here, God. We thank you for this opportunity, Father God, just to glorify you together, God. We thank you for this union, for this covenant that we will make before you and with each other, before our friends and family, God. And we're just so grateful, God. Um, for the love story that you created between Demetrius and I. And we just praise you. We thank you. We honor you. It's in Jesus' name that we pray. Amen. We just want to thank all of our friends and family for sharing this moment with us. We really wanted you guys to be a part of this baptism. Um, it was something that God told us well, told Demetrius that he wanted us to do, and we just wanted to be obedient, and we also wanted to be able to share it with you, our friends and family at, the, at our wedding. Yeah, just like what Lassie is saying, um, definitely God put it on me to just get baptized in a sense to where we kind of go down single, but we come up together. Just washing whatever we did in the past, a single coming up as, you know, being together. By the confession of your faith in our Lord Jesus Christ in becoming one, I now baptize you, Demetrius, and you, Lacera, in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, in Jesus' name. Woo!